Liquid nitrogen. Sure, it's used for freezing off warts and destroying terminators, but today we're showing you how it's used to repel magnetic fields, just like Magneto. And it's all in the name of science. First, you'll need to score some liquid nitrogen, which has a lower freezing point than water and can cool objects to sub-zero temperatures. Now pour that liquid nitrogen over a metallic conductive element such as lead or tin. Then watch what happens when you place a magnet on top. What you're seeing is a phenomenon called superconductivity. You see, all conductive materials have a certain resistance to electricity. By pouring liquid nitrogen over the conductor, it freezes all of the molecules inside, creating zero electrical resistance and allowing large amounts of electrons to pass freely, thus the term superconductor. Without electrical resistance, a magnet will cause the superconductor to create an opposing magnetic field, allowing the magnet to hover in place. This is known as the Meissner effect. Now apply this principle to a small track and a magnetic set of wheels, and you've just created the transportation of the future. Scale to size, of course. With a little elbow grease, you too can get started on making your own hover car, or a really cool paperweight, thanks to the power of superconductors and a little f science.